vlog, we're gonna watch the Game Awards. Um, sorry that we're eating, but I was really excited to watch it, and I just got home from work, so we're gonna start it while we're eating. But we're gonna react to them, so. So, we're just starting it. But, they were saying, like, announcing, like, things coming, basically, and it was, like, world premieres, including... And then they said, like, what, Borderlands 4... And Mafia, the old country, and many more, or whatever they said. But it's like, I wouldn't really count that as a world premiere because well, we already knew about it. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, a world premiere could be like the launch trailer, technically. Like the mm -hmm. day a game comes out. That's true. And that's the thing, too, considering both of them were a really short teaser. If they're the like, if they're, if they're like, yeah, I was going to say, if they're gameplay and or throughout a date. Yeah. And if it's like. Another and or if they're like one of them's fairly close. Because that's the thing that's kind of intriguing about that is for a long time, like people like having things announced way early, but now it's getting to the point like they they did a teaser for Elder Scrolls 6 and it's probably not coming that was like six years ago and it's not coming for another three or four. Yeah. That's another thing, because now they're doing the first award and it's still the pre-show. <clears throat> and it's best fighting game. That's kind of a major Awards would be doing in the pre-show when there's so many ads and stuff in the actual show. Um, you'd think they would save that one at least for like there's some that would make sense to do in the pre-show. I, I guess. think they, I think they do them, but like all the content creator ones, like, best content creator, best esports game, best esports or like game. what best accessibility now or whatever it is. Uh, like that one they. Well, oh, they make a big deal. Show. That's probably gonna turn into the thing. Twenty like, minute uh, long thing. No, I was going to say, it's going to turn into the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Where it's like, because MVP is like best stats, like game of the year. Well, in theory, best stat or best. But like, but like, ooh, we're helping people. Because that's what the Walter Payton Man of the Year is. Like, you have to be good on the field, but like, doing you have to be doing charity work off. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Move away is kind of like when people make a joke about when you're packing a car being like Tetris. So, Matt just, um, figured out it was Slay the Spire 2 from a card and the word Spire and um like what three seconds into the trailer you know some, I mean? something like that yeah and um it's kind of interesting because like all of these showcases he does that where it's like more than half the games he figures out really quickly like way but well obviously I would never have figured that okay, out Shazam. yeah it's like yeah. that but no like there's obviously some I would never figure out but even the ones that I do figure out it's like he already figured it out um but it's kind of interest like I kind of find it funny it's like a game I kind of like it that almost looks like the character from Journey I'm just intrigued with that this. That looks season. like Pac-Man. It is Pac-Man, clearly. But, I mean... What is it? Like, Is it just something completely unrelated with Pac-Man hanging out? Shadow Labyrinth? And it looks like Pac-Man's like... Like a Na'vi from Zelda that does more. Weird. They just did the games for Impact, so... Like, during the pre-show. Well, and in theory, that's supposed to be kind of a big one, too. Astro Bot shouldn't have won. Yeah, it's I, probably, I it's probably, recording. it's probably the thing that's, like, what they're gonna, kind of like when they gave Elden Ring Game of the Year, um, and they gave God of War, like, everything else. It's pro that's probably what this whole thing is. Because it's, like, family game, like, I mean, maybe except for the fact you want to kill each other when you play Mario Party, so I guess maybe that's the reason. <laughs> But the, literally, like, that's the only one we've played, all three of us. Yeah, I know, but think about how many times Nathan said he hated us during it. Well, we fight during games, too. <laughs> Does that mean we don't like... I know, I'm guys? teasing. No, I was gonna... But, yeah, I was gonna say, like, that one's kind of bullshit that Mario Party didn't win that one. Somebody should be... There should be, like, some contract that Jeff Keighley signs that he's allowed to be punched by as many people as want to punch him if he overhypes it. It's a like, very special night. Because then, like, because I've seen some things being like, this is going to be, like, there's actually going to be some b completely blow-your-mind moments. And, because that's like I was telling her before, like, Gears E-Day. Because, like, that whole time, I mean, there were people being like, oh, my God, I can't believe Gears was there. Like, what, a week before? I was like, it makes sense if Gears was there. I did not think it was going to be a really sweet prequel that brought back the other characters. Mm -hmm. 
But it's like, it's going to have to be either something completely brand new or like something nobody would like. Because like I told her, because when Donkey Kong came back for the Wii, um, that was like, the, they like fade it to dark, like the we're done. And then fade it to dark and then the Donkey Kong music start. Like just talking about it gives me goosebumps. That was awesome. I grew up on Donkey Kong. But it's like something like that. But they have the like the remaster thing from that Wii game coming in January. Mm. So it's like, yeah, it's like something like that coming back. If like, let's say since Tropical Freeze, they just hadn't touched it. It's just, there's always way too much hype. And I mean, he's, with it being the 10th anniversary, though, I could see see him figuring out a way to pull something out of nowhere. But the thing is, there's so many things that we know about. Like, because every, I think everybody knows that there's a Bioshock in the works. Like, that could be cool. But at the same time, if there's something that it's like, it's been talked about a lot, where it's like, oh, hey, like, even if we haven't seen a trailer, and also the trailer, like, all of a sudden Bioshock comes out, shows a trailer, it looks incredible, and it's like, coming in March. Mm. Like, then it'd be like, okay, yeah, like, we knew that was coming at some point. But that's the thing, like, because these have gotten, because the internet has ruined these so much. Because, like, like 10, 15 years ago, when you go to watch E3 coverage, like, you go watch the press conferences, and there weren't as much, as many things with, like, leaks. And, you know, because, like, right now, if you went and searched for, like, anything on the internet when it comes to games, you would get 10,000 articles. Because mm -hmm. somehow people make money writing about, like, some rampant speculation with absolutely no basis in truth. But that makes everybody kind of know, hey, look, like this is getting worked on or this has been rumored. And so you don't really ever get a good surprise anymore. But, I mean, you know, to be in the 10th anniversary, maybe like, maybe there was like a hit squad out. Like they literally had Hitman hired that were like, we are going to end you if you leak this. <laughs> and there will actually be some good ones, but we'll see. They had the like guy who found, founded PlayStation or like, created the PlayStation. Created the PlayStation. Yeah. So oh. they're, they're saying something about Joseph Ferris, and he was like, against our better judgment, he's going to have the stage Yeah, to who himself. else? How are you, when I said that, how are you questioning For me? The, I mean, he literally screamed, fuck the Oscars repeatedly. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He's literally <laughs> the F the Oscars guy. Yeah, why, who else would they be saying against our better judgment? Yeah, no one else. How is Troy Baker number one best performance? Especially with, like, the Joels. Yeah. And he's in something every, something big every single year. That makes no sense. He's a presenter, and they're talking about, like, who all won it, and then Todd Howard's like, have you ever won it? And, and he's looking at him like, oh, I don't know. We have an award for best indie game. <laughs> I think everybody here can agree you make a great case for best indie performance. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, ha. I don't, I don't know about that. Thank you, though. There was, there was another guy, though, who beat everybody. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty, he's pretty good. He's good. That's my guy. Well, I mean, this ain't that special. I don't It's kind of neat. They're literally bringing Harrison Ford out. And? I don't know. It's kind of neat. They have weird celebrity stuff all the time. It's so cool. And bands. It's still cool. Okay. I'm I'm nerding out, okay? Just like, Why do you like Harrison Ford that much? He was in Star Wars. <laughs> and he was in the Helsinki a couple weeks ago. Thank you. Oh, that's true. He was. <laughs> Oh, he's in that Yellowstone. Well, yeah, I was gonna say. I wonder how he. I wonder how long he's there because I know there's. He's here for They're filming for 1923. Oh, I wonder if he literally flew from here probably to there and is flying back. I bet. Probably. Unless he's. I mean, I don't know what Yellowstone. These two guys for the great he's not even in Yellowstone, is he? He's in 1923. Oh, that's what I mean. I don't know like his prequels. character or anything. No, so he could be done filming. I'm not very like I'm not very excited about that when he's like oh we want to we, I went and tried to find people that could sh would show um show what's gonna be coming for the next ten years like announcing stuff too early is obnoxious mm -hmm. we just talked about that Let's see like this graphic wise but what it's running on an Nvidia what now oh on an unannounced Nvidia GeForce RTX. So, yeah, that's running on a graphics card that isn't even avail mildly close to available. Like, none of the current consoles are going to be able to hit this. Well, that's the thing. Like, right now, even when stuff says 2026, it's kind of like, we're okay. Yeah. Oof. See you, Project Red. 
Oh, is this the next Witcher? Oh my god. Because this is another one of those, like, we knew it was coming. But we didn't necessarily know anything about it. Why not actually be the next Witcher, though? Because they said they were working on, like, three games, I think. Whatever it is, it looks pretty. I mean, like you said. That's the thing, though, is if it's four or five years out, that's a next-gen game, isn't it? Oh, it's Siri. I don't know anything about The Witcher, but it's pretty. Yeah, maybe you should play The Witcher 3. And I know there's a show. That's going through some things. They're switching Geralt. And is it Yennefer? Oh, Geralt. Yeah, Geralt's a main man, dude. I mean, although... I guess I've seen lots of shows do that, where it's like... They show something so big early that you're like, Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. And then there's not much else. Yeah, it's like they peaked with like the very first, first or second thing. No, and that's the thing, because if this is semi-close, like if, if this is in the next couple of years, you know this isn't going to look like this on anything except PC, and you're going to have to have... The new Like, yeah, I was going to say... Card. Yeah, a brand new graphic card, which will probably launch at like two grand. I mean, although, I don't care if it looks as pretty. Because the Witcher's so good. What is that terrifying looking thing? Oh, all sorts of stuff in Witcher is pretty. It's like a spider werewolf beaked dragon thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? what else could you throw in there? Yeah, apparently, I covered everything. Well, you didn't mention sharks or snakes. Mm, fair. Oh, beaked with teeth, though. Was that a beak or was that just big nose? I don't know, I thought it was a beak. I'm confused. If the girl ran, why did she die? Someone stabbed her. Did you not see the knife? Oh, no. Oh, did someone stab her because she came back? Then you kill boys. No, that was... Because that's another one, like... Yeah, that trailer was mind-blowing. That was awesome. But... You're going to need an incredible PC. Or it's not going to look like that. Or a little of both. And, but that's, like, another one where it's, like, everybody knew that was coming. Mm. I mean, yeah, I, but that's an incredibly strong start. That trailer was amazing. I just said Elton Ring, too, but those are recording. Probably not. But, uh, like, uh, immediately I was like, that kind of looks Elden Ring y, but, like, they just released Shadow of the Erd Tree and they've already said, like, we're not doing a sequel. So it's just whatever they're doing next. still recording. Oh, there was a giant spider that went running across the screen. I don't think it was that big. It was big. It's like a foot tall. It was big! Okay, I call quarter-sized spiders big, dude. Okay, what the heck? This this is giving off, like, very, like, playable and co op type vibes. Unless it's some stupid multiplayer game. No, it's definitely not. From software went way off base. I mean, I guess I'm not a huge fan of From Software because, like, that's what we were talking beforehand. Like, all the people that get like super hyped about them, you either have to be incredible at video games or have no life because it's like, oh, I got to a boss and couldn't beat it. I'm gonna go grind for five or six or ten hours. Like, that's not even that... I mean, yeah, even if the game's great, like, that is still not that fun. Like, I'd rather actually be making progress in a game and enjoying myself instead of having, like, 80 hours and... What's that and, looking thing? And having, like, 20... Like, only, like, 20 of it be the story while, like, 60's grinding. Like, yeah, if I'm exploring and finding cool new stuff entirely, but, like, that's, like, most of what it turns into is a grind, and that's not fun. 
I mean, unless you happen to be incredible. And if you are, I mean, no. That's impressive. If you can jump into a From Software game and just plow through it and not have a problem. The light of the Night Lord. This is... Uh, oh, it is rain, something. Night Rain. Oh, is that... I wonder if it's going to be a DLC. Because, yeah, I knew it looked Elden Ringy. Oh, no, I guess he did say standalone game. That's fucking hilarious, though. Because they've been ranting about how they're not doing another Elden Ring. And then they do another Elden Ring. Yeah. It was probably just to trick people. Now you know why I'm so excited. There you have it. Elden Ring Night Rain is a new co-op action-adventure game. It is co-op, though. Uh, they're just, like, saying, like, oh, one of our nominees is coming to a new platform. Megan thought that Re Rebirth was going to go to Switch. Every Switch on Earth would detonate if one person tried to launch that game on Switch. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just guessed. That's one thing, because they're showing the tra a trailer for Indie that just came out, and that is one thing that, like, if you're complaining about how like how much it turns into ads. It's, it's Yeah, it's all gaming ads, at least. It's not like they're, like, jumping out and doing, like, an ad for a Toyota Toys. Tundra. Oh. Toys, Toys isn't that off base. Toys. Toys. Like... Pads and oh, Jesus. underwear. <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> kind of cool. I did a little tribute to Tony Todd. What is this cat thing that's going on right now? <laughs> I don't know. It's like cats it, with like multicolored eyes in this fantasy land thing. I don't even know. Is it something to do with meta? No. Catly? It must be a game. Okay. Switch in Steam. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out. It's he's he he's like him and Hideo hang out every like two minutes, so it's not Hideo. Oh, that was my thought. Epic. Who even works for Epic anymore? Oh come on! They're being so deliberately slow about this. So he's pairing with Epic. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. This is going to be interesting. Every one of his games is just weird. Oh, it definitely is. This looks weird. It's definitely eco looking. This is weird, though. None of Eco Shadow of the Colossus and The Last Guardian were not like sci fi, and this is definitely pretty sci fi. -y. Oh, jeez. What is that? Uh, I don't know. It looks like a tidal wave of lava lamp. Yeah, oh, what the heck? Is he going to launch off from that thing? Yeah. Nope, just the head. Uh -oh. oh, whatever the shockwave thing is, it took the rest of the... Oh, it's not... oh yeah, it took it out. Hmm. That was, uh... No title or anything? Nah, titles are good. That was your early first look at the untitled next project from Kamuto Ueda san. No, that's the thing. Even though I don't really care about Elden Ring, and even though they kept saying they weren't going to do it, the moment that trailer started, I knew it was going to be Elden Ring. But having that big of a start, I I do I do have doubts it's not going to be pretty actually incredible. Which I don't know. We'll see though, because you never know. Cause that's like I was telling Megan the other day too. That's another thing. Cause like Naughty Dog's working on something we know zero about. Mm -hmm. Like that would be one where that could be pretty hardcore. Um, Cause that that's another one of those examples. It's something we know about, but we haven't seen anything. So that wouldn't be. Cause that that's like I said with the amount of like leaks and rumors and rumblings and like people leaving positions. Then like putting on LinkedIn, I was working on the new Naughty Dog game. Cause stuff like that, that happens all the time. Um, but yeah, you kind of know of everything. But if, if they like come out and show a trailer for something we know nothing about. Like I also said, Wolverine. If they came and showed something for that. Because if they don't have a presence here, they have to be doing their own show. I mean, you cannot go through the 30th anniversary and be like, Hey, like a couple months before we'll announce some variations on some... Or... Yeah, it was a couple months, wasn't it? Like, some variations on some consoles and release some stuff on PlayStation Plus. And then, like, do... Oh, I haven't shown you that. Like, you can, like, do themes on the PlayStation where it'll, like, make it look like the old ones. 
Good. All the old ones. Like, but you you can't do that and have that be the end. And then with it being like, because it was, la- was it last? It's either last week or this week. I think it's this week. Is literally the week of I the anniversary. This week. Yeah, so it's like, you can't have that going on and not be doing something. And like, at, unless it's like next Tuesday or something, there's nothing coming from them. Like, imminent. Because that's one thing I do like about like the directs and stuff like that is they announce them usually like two or three days before so you don't have to like anticipate it forever well i mean it's kind of a catch-22 because it is nice to like know what's coming but it is like if all of a sudden it's like sunday evening they're like we're doing one tuesday and it's like this is the 30th anniversary thing holy crap Mm -hmm. but yeah like since nothing like that's happened like they could i think they would have done it on the day of you would think yeah probably or would have tried to but so there's probably going to be something big from sony here if not it'll be like Sometime over the weekend, we'll be like, we're doing a showcase on Tuesday. The Outer Wilds, too. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, this trailer's is fucking hilarious. These, these trailer, the last trailer for this was fucking hilarious. Okay, so for context, like, it's made by Obsidian, who made, like, Yeah, the first one is Bioware. They made the second one. Not sure about (laughs) I'm not sure who made the first one of that one. This this last one's hilarious, though. Because they made New Vegas, but Bethesda made three. Weird. And then they went... Because then they, they went and, like, massively outdid Bethesda at their own game. Like, New Vegas is awesome. They're going to date this for, like, June. Because with Xbox's supposed quarterly thing, they have, um... Mm, like a major thing every quarter. Because they Avowed's coming in February. This is going to be the, the second quarter one this year. Next or, year. yeah, whatever. That could be another thing to make this really interesting. Mm. If, if this still uh, comes to PlayStation, because the first one was on PlayStation. Because it was set to go multi-platform um, before Xbox bought. Um, bought Obsidian. <laughs> Purse the Cassie. Still coming to PlayStation. I mean, they have said it's a case by case basis. That's true. And I mean, that's the thing, though. And like all the talk of was. yeah, and the talk of like Elden Ring or Elden Ring, uh, Elder Scrolls being pulled. Like when six comes out, no way. Or like the new Fallout. Like if that that only had one game that was on other consoles, mm. like they're not going to be like, hey, yeah, like. Um. Well, I was going to say, because I guess Morrowind and Oblivion are only on Xbox. Maybe? Those are, like, old enough. I don't really remember. <laughs> I own them on 360, or on uh, Xbox, the original Xbox. I just about said Xbox One. God, Xbox is naming is stupid. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the, uh, like, I, at that point, maybe, it, I don't think it was on PS2, but maybe it was. But, yeah, like, with Skyrim, like, that's... If they're going to be like, oh, yeah, we want the sales for that, they're definitely not pulling a big Bethesda title. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's going to probably be... But then Indiana Jones is... Well, I mean, I guess that's a big existing property. I was going to say... I don't know. I guess there's really no rhyme or reason. Because I was going to say, if it's like something that's an actual new franchise, but then there's been some... Like, some of them have come over. It's going to... What it's going to be is, I think, like, it'll probably be... If you have Game Pass, you can play it for free. But as they keep jacking the price up, that'll be 50 bucks a month in, in like, six, four or five years. But, like, it's like you can play it for free and you'll get it, like, a few, like three or four months early. Because it's like Indiana Jones isn't hitting PlayStation until spring. Mm-hmm. Please say fuck the Oscars oh, just randomly.
this time, it's some next level shit, I'm telling you. I mean, <laughs> I no, 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 what we're going to show you is going to be amazing. I know I sound cocky, but it's really hard not to be cocky when you have a game like this. Are you ready? All your other games have been amazing right. too, bro. Let's roll Hayes Nice Snake co-op adventure. Go. Dude, having the balls to make them all forced co-op. Yeah, I love it. Which, if I wasn't married to you, I would fucking hate it. You're welcome. Oh my god, this looks freaking dope. And with their their history, and then the way this looks. He, that, that, the premises he comes up with to make it where he can do 12 genres in one game are so badass. This guy is... The, a genius? He is the best game creator going right now. Oh, 100%. Because, I mean, it's like Hideo stuff is amazing, but it's also, like, hard to follow. And, like, Death Stranding is a, a very fancy walking simulator. <laughs> I mean, it really is. <laughs> like, even people that love it say that. And, I mean, I guess Shigeru, though, he created everything Nintendo. He created Mario, Zelda, like... Okay, but... But he isn't really creating brand new stuff anymore. No. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, I want this now. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we need to be able to redo the most anticipated. Because, yeah, I mean, like, am I looking forward to Grand Theft Auto? This, this yeah, This is my but... most anticipated game right now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what go the back, hell? Go back. <laughs> I know, I was. Anyways, let's not talk about that level of hot dogs. Shit, the pigs. vegans and Peter are gonna be after they're them. They're pigs now. and then they show hot dogs on a grill. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, they turn into. <laughs> No, and that's another thing they do with every one of them. The friend pass. Where you only have to buy one copy of the game. So, like, if you are playing online, yeah. the other person doesn't have to buy it. Which is cool. Yeah, that is... I mean, is greedy and, like, with the microtransaction bullshit. And, like, any of those companies that are huge on microtransactions and battle passes would never even mildly consider that. Like, that is so awesome. Yeah. No budget. Oh, that was sweet. God, this is my favorite gaming studio. Oh, I'm well, so be excited. like six months from now. No, be like now. Fuck yes! <laughs> Not only is he badass, but he's cute as fuck. <laughs> and he only Dude. said that for twice. I'm proud of him. <laughs> Dude. If I was a game developer, I would 100% like go beg him. Be like, I don't care where I'm working. I would beg him to work for him. Yeah. I wouldn't want to work for him. Because <laughs> that's like on uh, watching Psych Odyssey. And like I, I read this deal where somebody said like technically he's a... Tim Schafer's a really bad boss because he like he lets scope creep and just like lets the fucking game get out of hand and that's why like until Microsoft came in and bought Psychonaut like bought them for them to finish Psychonauts they they were at like a fifth time where they were out of money and they were about to go bankrupt oh, and it's like he seems like he's like the same fun energy that wants to make really cool games but he still he, they, they get games out every few years it's not like like, if Tim Schaefer didn't have someone reining him in and, like, didn't have to, like, worry about running out of crowdfunding money with some of his earlier games, like, he'd never do anything out. He'd still be working on, like, the four, fifth thing he ever worked on. Mm. That was my favorite thing that's happened so far. Oh, yeah, by far. I mean, the Witcher trailer was awesome, but that's the thing, too. We have no idea even slightly when that's coming. Not when or anything, no. and then... And, I mean, as pretty as it looks... Graphics cards that aren't even released yet and all that. Yeah, I mean, that graphics card will probably... The graphics card that that is on will be announced at CES. 
Consumer Electronics Show in January, yeah, I, I bet. Yeah, probably. But that puts it coming out, like, mid-next year, best case. Yeah. And unless they, like, went to NVIDIA and they were like, yo, give us something that's, like, not even close. Like, give us, like, some prototype that you're not even close to getting out. Uh-huh. Jeff just called this game pretty because and it's being made by someone in Canada. And I'm like, he just called it pretty because it's being made by Canadians because he's a Canadian. But it is really pretty. Yeah, I know. Like, really, really pretty. That gives me the last of us two vibes in the beginning part. It's called Black Frost. Oh, The Long Dark 2. It's a sequel. Uh They made the sequel part, the um, subtitle. Yeah. He Mother said, Fluffing. He just said Mother Fluffing. He just said Borderlands Mother Fluffing 4. Oh, jeez. It's going to be the main enemy. She reminds me of Kerrigan from StarCraft. Oh, what the heck? What are those Prometheans? Or a Radiant? What are we? What are we? That's the match from the trailer. Mm-hmm. The first trailer. Teaser. Is that a breakdancing torso with arms? I don't know. It's something. More loot than anyone ever needs. Mm-hmm. Or can ever hold. Just gonna get a date. I'm digging the music. Oh, there you no go. date. Next year, though. Grand Theft Auto 6 won most anticipated. I was not expecting that to be a bird's eye. Was it actually the bird's eye? I'm yeah, pretty it was. sure. Yeah, it was. Jeez. This game is very pretty. Is it going to end up being a fighting game? Looks like it, but it's... Whoa. Is it Street Fighter 7? No, Virtual Fighter. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was... Fighting games do incredible graphics quite often because they don't have. There's not a ton to render in the grand scheme of things. Oh, does it make sense? Oh, they're doing a direct port tomorrow. No. Oh wait, what the? That's not tomorrow. That's 2 p.m. Japan Standard Time. I'm assuming. And 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's 10 o'clock tonight. So it's basically right after this, probably. Yeah. I'm intrigued by this one. Oh my god, is it going to be a, another Yaku- yet another Yakuza game that's going to be based in the fifteen in the teens, not the twenty teens? Definitely a fighting game of some sort. No. Yeah, I was going to say, this is something in the Yakuza universe, that'd be weird. Project, oh, so it's not named. No, because I was going to say, because Yakuza doesn't have any, like, real violence. It's like fist fights, mm-hmm. typically. I mean, the things you do would break somebody into a right. thousand pieces. It is from the people, the Like a Dragon people, which is Yakuza. So Astro Bot just got its second award. It just oh got, yeah, it we did. Game direction, though. Yeah, it's gonna be the same thing as when God of War got fucked by douchebag Elden Ring. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, Astro Bot actually deserves Game of the Year, so let's give it like every other thing it's nominated for, but then give it to Elden Fuck. Which shouldn't even count. It's a DLC. No. No, and then I've seen people be like, oh, it's bigger and better than anything else that came out this year. It's like, no, it's not. Final Fantasy VII, Stellar Blade. Wukong. I, no, there's... Like, that, I mean, those are three that are, like, right up there that are good, that are big. Like, if you're gonna try to be like, oh, it's bigger and better, and then it's like... It's like, yeah, if you... Like, because even people that are super-duper into From Software stuff, a lot of them are like, this is... Like, even for From Software, this is too hard and obnoxious. So, yeah, there's, like... I mean... Even if you're, like, super into it, but to say it's, like, bigger and better, and then it's, like, 
Yeah, that's just basically not even realistic. I get, From Software fans are probably the most annoying group of fans in the entire world. And, I mean, they're managing to top Dodgers and Eagles fans. Like, that's a... Niners fans? Yeah, Niners fans. All they need to do is throw some batteries at some babies, and they're right up there with the Eagles fans. I mean, Niners fans are just stupid. Universal. It's funny, I can, when it's a game, strictly game thing, I can guess it. Tur a new Turok. Why is the Universal Pictures thing there, though? That's weird. To throw you off, apparently? It's kind of funny, because when they very first started to show it in the Universal, I don't know if I'm right. Oh, no, the Universal thing's right there, too. I know. But no, I was, because when the, I was thinking, like, is Jurassic Park Universal? I don't think it is, but I was like, I'm like, I don't know why, because me a dinosaur vibe, then there were dinosaurs, then it turned out to be Turok. Uh -huh. Jeff says this is very special. Capcom. That's what I was about to say. Is this a new Onimusha? Yes. <laughs> Never played the old ones. I just I've heard a lot of people say they need to bring this series back. Entering the stream. That's exactly what's happening. Because Astro just won but, another one. But Elden Fuck didn't win best RPG. That's true. That's the thing too, is I mean, granted, like the crowd isn't who voted but you go by crowd noise it's gonna be hard like because every time final fantasy gets mentioned and i mean i don't know like to like i don't even care what you try like final fantasy like to be that big of a game with that kind of graphics like and you know to be retelling one of the most iconic stories ever and like putting a new twist on it and then, like, Metaphor, like, I haven't played it yet, but, like, I played the, the prologue demo thing, and it's, it's awesome. Like, oh, yeah, because when I was naming games that are definitely bigger and, at minimum, as good, that's another one, so there's at least four. Yeah. Then it's, like, Astro isn't as big, but it's better. Yeah. I bet an either a 2K or EA game wins best sports racing game. I didn't realize Snoop Dogg started a gaming company. I didn't realize Snoop Dogg had a kid. How do you not have a kid? He's old. New co-op from the makers of uh, Overcooked. <laughs> <laughs> the thing we both chuckle about is that this would never have happened to be 3 This looks intriguing. called Stage Fright. Hmm. Hello Games is involved too. They must be publishing it. This is kind of interesting. It's the Game Awards and there's a world premiere of a song slash album. By Snoop Dogg. Now he's doing an old song. It's the fact that you can't name it. I know it. I can't think of it. before you were born. I know, it's from 1993. It's directly in the center of us being born. Something about three in the morning. I don't remember the name of it. Six <laughs> in the morning. I can't remember the name of it. Gin and juice. Oh, duh. The thing we were discussing earlier where it's like hopefully they didn't blow it or like go too early. It's kind of seeming like they did. Because I was going to say, because like the new Haze Light game... Like, if you're into Elden Ring and The Witcher were, like, really great. And then since then, it's been, like... Because, I mean, I'm excited for Borderlands, but it's, like, it's just more Borderlands what it looks like. And they didn't show anything that was mind-blowing. There hasn't really been anything great Welcome since the back. first three. And we're literally here. hours but since. First, yeah. For a limited time only, yeah, and it's, like, the last, what, five things were, like, just ads. Yeah, in the last in the last like forty five minutes, it's been like a combination, probably at least two thirds, like an ad or like an update for some live service thing, and then like two musical acts. Mm -hmm. 
hard. I just thought about something though. Like all of the uh, people announcing the category have been relevant to the category. Well, yeah, duh. Well, I don't know. I don't. I, is it like that in, in uh, the Oscars in, and uh, shit? I don't know. Fuck the Oscars. <laughs> okay, Joseph. <laughs> the uh, Sonic Racing game. I don't know. Another one. Nathan will be excited. I might have just started system. vibrating. Tonight we have the world's first look at this cinematic narrative action. They're showing off here the old world, that one we got like Dude, that, a snippet yeah, that itty teaser, tra teaser trailer thing. Yeah, that looked incredible. But yeah, Matt started vibrating. Well, that's kind of another exciting thing is now we're through the things they flat out said early on. Next summer. Give yourself 40 summer minutes. Now more Matt just made a valid point that Laura Bailey is too hot to have voiced Abby. In the last bus, too. That's all common, isn't it? Sequel or a remake? Sequel. Literally says sequel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's clearly got to be working title. Uh, I'd hope so. No, it's definitely going to turn out that they they blew all their big stuff early. Well, yeah. Because, I mean, oh, it's funny. like, because, okay, Dispatch look really cool and kind of funny. And stuff, but I mean, it's like, because what it was within the first four announcements, they showed Elden Ring, The Witcher, and why? How did I already forget the the name of the new Hayes Light game? Decided to. Um, but yeah, like those were within the first like half hour, and now it's all. I mean, because yeah, they'll show Game of the Year, and then with the orchestra, that'll probably take like five minutes. Then, you know, at least a couple minutes for a speech. And then there'll be like the one last big thing, but I mean, it's like, I don't know. Cause like the new Haze Light game was like by far the best thing. And then to I me, mean, I guess if you're into Elden Ring, especially with like them being like, we're not doing another Elden Ring. We're not going to do another Elden Ring, at least for a while. Um, but yeah, like, it, cause like everything else has been like more of things we knew were coming. So we'll see what the the last big thing is or if there's like after this but this is just like the way it's become with everything like the game awards or summer game fest there's about half of it becomes like hey here's an update on a live service game or like here's another trailer for a game we saw like saw like a month ago from somewhere or something but that is also, like I told you earlier, because I don't know if we were recording at that point, but, like, I think we might have been, but, like, PlayStation doing nothing here means they have something of their own coming out. Because, I mean, it's the 30th anniversary, you can't not. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that'd be crazy if they went the entire month without doing a single event. But then, I, you know, it's like with the Game Awards, they did it, like, a week away. Like, a lot of times they do it, like, you know, like, we're, they're going to steal the hype kind of way, which is kind of douchey. But, I mean, if you can do it, like, why not? So, two things. The, uh, I thought there would be more to the fact these two people from the Muppets are here. There's always Muppets people, and it almost, it's usually just as a joke. Oh, well, this is the third time they've shown them. But they totally just made fun of the fact that the DLC for Elden Ring is up for Game of the Year. Well, yeah, that should be made fun of. I know, I'm just saying, it's funny. This is Naughty Dog's new thing. You think so? Because what Neil Druckmann, they've talked about his new thing being sci-fi. And you notice they just said ancient scripture 1968, uh, 1986. That wouldn't be ancient. It would be if it was set in the future. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, I actually didn't notice that. Did they say Porsche? <laughs> Although the thing is, though, is like, that's been talked about and rumored when Jeff just let, started it with, like, yeah, but incomplete no secrecy. Yeah. But also, I mean, it could be a rumor. So like, you know what I mean? It could have been like, oh, technically it was. Because technically, I mean, we, we knew that like he was working on something. Hmm. 
or is working on something. That's all we knew. Like, like actually seeing it or knowing what's going on. It's like, even that it's sci-fi, that's really vague. It's like, come on, on Johnny. Like that. The picture of the person they're tracking. Well, I knew it's men. I don't know who that is. A dude that's primarily known for comedy. But he has done some serious stuff lately. And Sony. The tape deck thing, or the CD yeah, player of Sony. It. Oh, you're right. It does say Porsche. Told you. Oh. Because <laughs> it just it just said from this video, right? Mm -hmm. That brought you, like, The Last of Us and Uncharted and stuff. Well, and Jack and Daxter and Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Well, the rumor about it being a sci-fi thing is real. Yeah. Intergalactic. The Heretic Prophet. That Ooh. looks interesting, because it looks almost like it's going to be a little bit... That's an old-school PlayStation logo. It looks like it's going to be a little bit of a combo of their... Like, their newer style, where it's, like, kind of dark... And, like, adulters. Because, like, you think, if you go back to, like, Crash and Jack and Baxter, like, it was, like, cartoony. And it's, like, the way that, like, last little bit where they showed her, like, go to attack, like, made it seem like it might have a little bit of that kind of, like, more cartoony goofiness, too. If they treated their developer. The guy who's talking right now, who is announcing Game of Year, I guess. Um, he won it last year for Boulder Gate, or they. Okay, that. Uh, he's talking about how, like, an oracle told him the secret formula for winning Game of the Year and all that, and it's just to, you know, treat your players with respect and not do a bunch of stuff to just increase revenue and not benefit the game design and stuff. It's kind of neat. Not, like, and not screwing over the developers and stuff. That's the thing when they do this Game Awards Orchestra thing, like, leading up to Game of the Year. It is incredible. Like, they transition... Like, I mean, it's, you know, a lot of video game music is, like, orchestral, but... So, like, transition in... Yeah, the transitions are amazing, and then, like, when they're transitioning into something, like... And then back out of something like Astro Bot. Yeah. It, I just learned that... Or not just learned, but just figured out, I guess, that the, uh... One of the games that's up for Game of the Year was also in the category for Best Debut Indie, which is kind of fascinating. You just make a good game. Yeah, but it's just kind of neat. Majesty. Oh, thank God. Are you oh, fucking kidding me? Oh, my me? God. <laughs> yes. That is the best thing. This is the best Game Awards in decades. Yes. That is so cool. Oh, my God. I didn't think because it was winning like what, everything. Like, three else. or four things. I didn't think it was going to win Game of the Year. <laughs> no, me either. I kind of because Bellatro won a ton, too. Oh, that's true, dude. I'm amazed by how snub, what, Final Fantasy got audio and that's it? Yeah, it kind of got snubbed, I will say. No. No? Well, I mean, they did, but the ultimate snub ever is that Hogwarts Legacy wasn't nominated oh, for even one thing Don't even last get year. me started back on that. <laughs> no, and Elden Ring was fully shut out entirely. Elden Ring didn't win one single thing. No. That proves don't put DLC as a game. Well, no, and that's the thing, too, is like... Like people said, like, make an actual category for it. Oh, that's true. Because it's, like, expansions and DLC, because, I yeah, mean, it's... you could it's, make your full category well, for that. Well, you could make, like, like... You could probably make two. Make one that's, like, full expansions, and then ones that are, like, smaller yeah. DLCs. DLCs, yeah. Because, yeah, like, because, I mean... Because think of the Alan Wake DLC that you played. Yeah, that was, was so I was going to say, I wouldn't have called that, an, like, a full expansion. No, it was just DLC. But, like, I mean, not that they were that great, but the ones for Avatar were pretty good because like but they added like a map you could probably call them pretty easily call them expansion like an actual expansion and then stuff like back when like blood and wine and stuff the witcher ones and then you know you go way back to like shivering isles for um oblivion i think it's oblivion no and that's the thing not even necessarily just like not having elden ring win it's like that is just cool as fuck because like, platformers, so many people, like, thought slash think platformers are dead. 
Now I really want to play Astro Bot. And then it's like, then you throw in just like, because I mean, some people just try to say it's just like pandering, like how much they like have throwbacks to other Sony stuff. But I mean, like I grew up on Nintendo and came into PlayStation. I guess I bought PlayStation and PlayStation 2 and Xbox at about the same time. But then, like, I loved the Xbox. Like, Xbox jumped to my number one until about halfway through the 360 era when they're, they kind of started to slip on exclusives. And, like, by then, like, Uncharted and, like, The Last of Us and stuff were starting to come out. Mm. But it's, like, and that's really when I, like, kind of started to lean more towards Sony than anything it was the late PS3. And still, like, just the nostalgia of all of it is just so cool. Two more things. So they have, well, the guy talking has, like, Astro in his pocket. And then they have little, like, lapel pins. Isn't that what they're called? Mm -hmm. Um, That are Astro. Um, You got a good freeze frame with Joseph. Yeah, I did. He's like, (laughs) but, uh, what what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, that's one. Okay, so gaming is cool. And he totally just, like, paid homage, homage. What, What is the word? I think you're misusing it. Uh, homage isn't when you, like, talk about something. That's, like, when you well, made he... something similar. Uh, like, tribute. Tribute, whatever, to um, Nintendo, right? Yes, Mar- no, Mario. No, Mario I was made, just Mario is made by a television. I was just double-checking. No, I mean, he didn't straight up mention Nintendo because I feel like maybe he would get in trouble. I don't know. No, probably not. Anyway, but he was, like, avoiding saying Nintendo, but he was clearly, like, Tri- paying tribute to Nintendo for making plat- like the fir- first platformers. No, I don't. I, I'm I'm mildly disappointed. Really? Well, no. I mean, it was awesome, but it was like, like that huge middle that chunk was true. basically nothing. And it's like they do so many things that are basically ads, and then they go into these things where it's like, here's an award, an award, an award, an award, an award, and they don't even let those people come up and talk. Like, I mean, granted, that like, is true. yeah, like, I mean, granted. Sports came down to, like, a few EA and a few T- 2K titles. But, like, they never got to come up and talk. And, like, I mean, I guess, like, some of the ones they announced quickly were, like, like, other times Astro won and, like, other times Bellatro won. But there was, like, they ju- there's so many they just skim past. And then also, like, the way he prefaced it with, like, oh, like, stuff's coming in the future. Like, because, yeah, that... Naughty Dog game, they said they've been working on it since 2020, so that's probably, like, at least 2026, and, like, The Witcher game's probably at least 2026, but when he's, like, talking, like, I was expecting some, like, teases for something that's coming in, like, 27, 28, which, I mean, that's too far out to announce it, but when he's, like, hey, we're gonna be talking about what's coming up the next 10 years, which, I mean, I guess The Witcher thing did, like, kind of show how insane graphics can be with, like, an upcoming graphics card. Uh, yeah, but that's the thing too, though, is like, I didn't show in 10 years unless, like, like I said, unless I got some prototype that's like 3 or 4 years from hitting the market. But, no, I mean, I don't know. Because that's the thing, like, yeah, so, like, they showed Naughty Dog's new thing, but, like, considering it's, unless they're still doing something of their own, Sony had, like, nothing, like, but, I mean, they did some, they did some stuff for, yeah, so I was gonna say, they did some stuff for fans, on the console and the Stars app. But otherwise, they haven't really done... Oh, and for PlayStation Plus. But they haven't done anything for what the 30th anniversary. Nint- I kind of thought Nintendo might be there showing some stuff that would be coming for the Switch, too. Yeah, I was going to say Nintendo didn't really do anything. No, they didn't do anything at all. And they, like, they, their new console's going to be announced by the end of March. So, so I, I bet, thought this would be a good time to do it. I bet that Sony and Nintendo in the next, like, week, we'll have each have a... Or a couple weeks. Yeah. Like, the next couple weeks, they'll both, they'll both have a show. I could also see Nintendo doing January, though, too. You think? Oh, maybe, like, after the holidays and stuff? Well, no, not, nothing to do with the holidays, just to be like, haha, we're gonna start the year off by showing off our Super Nintendo Switch. Dude, that'd be cool. Keep calling it that. Just conjure that into existence. We need it. We need it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.